with the Italian name for that. No. Her. Not. Music was part of my background from a very early age. Uh, my mother was a professional musician um, before, my, before I was born. Uh, and then after that she became semi-professional and she was a piano teacher. So from early days I can remember music in the house. And also my father's side of the family were pipers and uh, drummers as well. So there was a lot of, always a lot of music going on. Um, and from a very early age then I was seated at a piano and told you're going to play and that was it and uh, began to, and my mother trained me classically up until about the age of 12 uh, when she decided it was time to send me to somebody else and that's and I progressed from there so that's the early days So was everybody drawing around their hand? I need to join my hand together yes. I need yeah. to join my hand okay. together We're just waiting on Ava yeah. Can okay. you do rings on mine? So if you look at your hand, how many fingers does it have? One, two, two three, three, four, four five, five, six, five. seven. Okay, what else five. has five? In music, what might have five? I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to show you a piece of music. Well, look at this. How many lines can you see? Five. Uh, two. Count them. Five. What? Five. Yeah. Like one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, can you see five? And I, I started to play with small community groups and uh, went on and I got offers to go with on the road, if you like, with like the rock bands, the whatever you call rock, but uh, they were great fun and we I did that for about twelve years, uh, travelling around the country and clubs clubs and venues and all sorts and I stayed with the classical which my mother had started me with and finished that in my early 20s and uh, that's basically where it all started. So we'll go back on this one here now and we'll add the floor drum in and we'll add the, the hi-hat and the bass drum. Okay. Okay, next one. and Dog School of Music um, was born out of an idea that I had after a summer camp myself uh, and a friend gave in, in for a group of children in the Spirit Story in the summer of 2009 and uh, it was so successful and thoroughly enjoyed by all who attended it. We thought well maybe we could be doing this more often and um, you know so the idea of the school uh, sprung to my mind because I had been teaching at home but it's on one to one it was on one to one and which is fantastic as well but sometimes children need somewhere to to show off what they've learned and performances and, and see their peers learning as well and that's important that it's not just me that's doing music and oh she does or he does and, and that's that's great uh, gives some great confidence to um to, to progress and, and a little bit of competition there so uh that was august 2009 when that that camp took place and um, by November 2009, the school had been set up and it was really out of, uh, that. that's what sparked me into saying, yes, I think it Dundalk could do with the School of Music. And it worked and we're here all the way to our fifth year now, our fifth year anniversary coming up this November. And um, it's, the school's open to everybody. I mean, and the, there's a great atmosphere here. Everybody's friendly, wonderful team. Uh, of teachers. Uh, they're superb musicians for a start and great, great. Uh, I think it's their their friendliness, their helpfulness with the student. And I mean, we, we do a lot of uh, getting feedback from parents via forms, etc. And that's the one thing that keeps down is the approachability. Uh, it's getting feedback about your child and um, the friendliness of the children love coming in. Something bounces in the door, they really do. And uh, it's just a fantastic venue and 
place to be and place to work and a great team. Great team. students um, who some of them now are progressing through the grades and a couple of them were hoping to go on to be teachers themselves who found music again maybe had bad experiences you know 20 30 years ago and they've decided they'd love to try again and because the atmosphere here is so friendly and inviting they feel very comfortable and they've knitted in completely and it's it's great so any age no limit so it's starting to uh... At parts, feel like not, you know, yeah. the street together. Like. Dundalk Institute of Technology was where I attained my Bachelor of Arts Honours degree in music and it was an applied music course and I think it was one of the first of its kind in Ireland um, and that was advertised in I think maybe 2002 uh, for interviews in early 2003 or something and I applied for the course and I was accepted and I was thrilled to be accepted on it and um, stayed with that for four years and it was a great a great degree and uh, many many skills I learned that uh, you know even though I've been involved in music all my life there were just so many things because I specialized in community education and that sort of fitted very well into where I'm currently at at the moment with uh, DSM and um, so that's where the, uh, my first experience with DKIT and I, I stayed with DKIT then to do a postgraduate on cultural innovation for the arts uh, which involved business studies and PR uh, modules, etc., which also helped with uh, setting up the business, if you like. So, so I had both um, both of those skills to bring to, to DSM. And uh, great time at DKIT, I loved it. Mm -hmm. 